Assalamu alaikum this is the front page of our application basically it is the first screen in which user can register themselves at username uh, email phone number password and confirm password then user will be registered and then we can go on the login screen and login user can log in on their screen and simply by putting their password they can log in now we will go to the app our dashboard screen firstly the user all these images and name and email will be fetched from the database as soon as the login system is complete your login system is complete but this feature will be added in the next 60 percent implementation and then user will go on this and select a crop for example a user has selected a crop name apple all of these descriptions all the top three tables or portions will be changed based on first portion will tell the apple description and in which areas it is uh, it has been provide the maximum yield uh, in the second portion it will provide the areas in which it is grown the most and which is the maximum area in which it is grown and then which is the predicted price of the apple then it is a graph of predicted price in which if you user can view last seven days price or you can say uh, it can change as well you can change it to month year and so on and you can an overview of the predicted price then for example if a person has selected an apple how which type of nutrients it provides for example it has 22 protein or 63 percent fat or 15 percent calories and so on then this table is basically based on for example a user selects a date from 27th may and now another user select a date from i will change it to for example june 30th so the difference between these two is you uh, these two tables is that first if a person has selected a date user will select a portion from these three and will select for example if they have a portion of name we can say as uh, harvest season or something like that the other pie chart will change based on the data or based on nutrients per kg other than that the latest product will be added soon in the project and the production per hectare will be added soon for example production will have per hectare means that if, a, if there is a mango type named chonsa in which areas have produced a date and where where the maximum yield and also overview of that crops as well. Now we'll go on the map option in which a user can select a map and we will use the map API here. We can fetch the current location, mark the current location. The uh, our top two symbol is notification and logout. Then we will go to the uh, file section and file section mean that there are basically there are files in which uh, Pakistan Agriculture PRC Research Council gives a booklet every month. Uh, where which farmers or the experts can download it from here then we have an account setting in which user can change their account settings and save these details user can go on settings in order, they can personalize their notification in our mobile app basically the user can change uh, the preferences or set preferences and on those set preferences, preferences they will get their notification in the mobile app which is basically made for farmers and this app is made this application is basically made for experts or governmental employees new and farmers are currently being under construction uh, we have a about a section in which we tell us what the app does and who has developed it then we have a logout option and we click on logout we go to the main screen thank you so much my name is Umad Subair. i'm developing the android side of our project using react native and javascript uh, our mobile site is basically focused on the farmers. The very first screen is the sign up screen, which takes name, CNIC, phone number, email, which is optional, as many farmers do not have it. Uh, also, we are not using password. Instead, we will be using a one time password, which will be auto read or uh, given by the farmer upon login. Uh, when a user hits register, all these inputs are validated and sent to the database, and user is signed up, after which he is directed to the login screen. In the login screen, he can enter his phone number, CNIC, and the one-time password, which is provided to log in. After logging in, if he has already set his preferences, he will be directed to the dashboard. And if he hasn't set his preferences, he will come to this screen where he will get his location automatically or internet manually. He can also view his location on the maps. He can select uh, many crops which he, are in, which he is interested in like corn, sugar, can, all the crops which are provided in our database. After setting preferences, he will be directed to the main app. Where the first screen will be the profile screen like his phone number, name, email, his uh, preferences, his location and his notification settings. Uh, in the draw navigator, he can 
go to the different screens like query screen where he can ask a question which will then later be answered by the as answered by any expert like he can view this question like uh, question which he asked the answer which is given by the expert expert name and he can write a review if he was satisf satisfied or not he can also view crop information like uh, if he selects a crop with if he selects a crop like there will be many uh, information tabs like the type of crops the nutrients in the crop the areas which are suitable for the crop also when historical data is present in the data warehouse he can view uh, the trends of prices yield production and many factors that affect the crop in the draw navigator he can choose uh, weather to view the weather forecast he can change, select the notification tab to view notifications also there is a government policy tab where uh, our government releases a policy or a tab tab every month which will be available in the pdf form and uh, also available for the download if the user selects uh, to if the user selects to view the uh, tab he can read in pdf form also there will be current uh, tabs and the older tabs he can change, change the theme of the app also there will be an option to change the language from english to urdu if someone doesn't understand english uh, the last one will be the sign out option if you just click the user will be signed out